Hi, it's Shane McLeod from Remax Gold in Gladstone and welcome along for my walkthrough tour of this lovely home in Sun Valley at Seven Mallee Court. Really well located here. I'm just a touch biased because I've actually lived in this neighbourhood myself for a little over 20 years now and I love the position because it is so handy to everything within the whole city of Gladstone. Everything is nearby, it's nice and central. So literally just down the road from this property, King Cora Primary School is right there. Sun Valley Marketplace with groceries, bakery, butchers, bottle shop, a little bit of takeaway there. It's got a little bit of everything right nearby as well. The Sun Valley um, roundabout shops are, are just up the road as well. And you're only a few minutes away uh, from the major shopping centre at King Cora and about a eight minute drive to the CBD and Harbour. So that's why I've loved living here and I'm sure plenty of the locals will tell you the same. Seven Mallee Court, what have we got here? A three bedroom low set brick home uh, built in 2001, very neat throughout. Um, the owners uh, have recently just put in a brand new kitchen just in the last few weeks and new carpets to all the bedrooms and it presents really well throughout. Let's start as we always do though from the outside. We'll do a quick little scan of the neighborhood and then we'll get on inside for a walk through. Okay, so I'm standing at the top of the driveway here. As you can see, we are in a cul-de-sac. So for me, that means one thing, very low traffic. It's only the local residents that are up and around here, but you'll see straight down the bottom of the street there, all of those trees and they're on the oval of the King Cora primary school so if you've got primary school age children or grandchildren um, they are right there just across the road so uh, very handy over the top of the homes here to my left Sun Valley Marketplace is right there literally walking distance um, just down the road there's also a daycare center just around the corner as well so I mentioned in the intro very close to everything else as well so looking around the neighborhood Surrounded by good quality homes, well kept all around. Great little established neighbourhood, uh, which started anywhere in the early 70s, Sun Valley. Uh, this home obviously built a little later on, as I mentioned before, 2001. It's on a 618 square metre lot. Quite private from the street, the house. Um, well established gardens, nicely landscaped all the way around. Not only that uh, driveway up to the single garage there, you can see all this parking on the right hand side of the driveway as well. So if you've got a van or a boat, uh, obviously a second vehicle, you'll get all that in there, no problem at all. There is a little gate which will get you up in uh, to the backyard there. You'd probably fit a trailer or something up in there too if you really wanted to. Uh, but plenty of parking options for a home of this size. Okay, as we come up the driveway, as I said, single garage there, that's an auto entry garage, so click your button, you're driving straight in, and that has internal entry to the house. Uh, just over to the left hand side here, just a little side path there, down to the left hand side of the home. Watering system fitted throughout the gardens there, all nicely mulched. And as I said, you turn around to the street, you are very private from the neighbours all the way around. It's a little side gate there, which gets you around onto the uh, large deck, which you'll see a little later on. So if you're entertaining, you don't have to have people coming through the house to get out the back, send them straight down the side. So brick home, As you can see there's security screens and doors fitted throughout as well. As you come through the front door, you've also got that garage on the other side. So as I mentioned, we'll start out there. The garage and laundry is right there. Workshop benches on the other side. Drive straight up and in and you're into the home on those wet days. It's a little bit deeper there too, so you've got plenty of room to get in around the front of the vehicle. Little side door there also, which takes you out to the clothesline, which is handy given the laundry is out here as well. 
you will also see up on the wall there the solar inverter. Uh, it's a five kilowatt solar system fitted to this property, which in these days of rising energy costs, I'm sure you will appreciate. Okay, so coming in the front door, you're straight onto this large open plan living area. Uh, a lot of people, when you think three bedroom home, think they're a little on the smaller side. Not this home, everything's got some great size about it. Bedrooms and living areas are all very generous. So straight in onto the lounge area, you can see that nice big split system air conditioner there, which does this area, no worries at all. A couple of fans there as well. And you'll see up on the walls there, uh, wired in for speaker system uh, and all the connections down the bottom there. So if you've got that nice entertaining system, then you can get it all plugged in here and away you go. Final plank flooring, all in very good condition. As is the paints, not too bad as well. So if you're looking at it from a move-in point of view or as a rental, it really is ready just to move into either way. Takes us out the back there. We've also got some storage cupboards over the back here. That's all shelved through, handy for storage for your everyday items or your linen. We'll start over on the left hand side there as we came in through the front door. As you can see handily for those two bedrooms and bathroom, that all closes off nicely from the rest of the home. So if you've got young ones, uh, you can close that up so you're not disturbing them of an evening. We we'll come into bedroom three on this side, so fan is there. Nice big double robes as well. I think I mentioned earlier, these carpets are brand new, have just been laid. Come over to the right. Bathroom, again, generous in size. Got a nice shower over bath there and vanity. I'm sorry, the camera just decided to tilt on me there, so we'll get started again. Um, and as I was mentioning, a nice big vanity there. Um, plenty of room in that shower exhaust fan over the shower there as well. So you're not stuck with any problems with mold on ceilings while that's in use. Now walking into this bedroom, you could be forgiven for thinking it is the master bedroom. Uh, it is not. It is just a huge second bedroom. Um, so plenty of room in this one. Get a king size bed in here, no problem at all. Double built in robes over in the corner there. The fan there as well. Uh, all security screened as I mentioned there before. So a huge room, bedroom, tomb here. All right, so out of that wing and back into the living areas. Take you across to the master bedroom. So again, very generous in size. Again, you'd get a king size bed in here, no problem at all. Nice light airy room. As you can see, no shortage of power points. There's TV points and the phone point there as well. Not that we use landlines all that much anymore, do we? Everything seems to be Wi-Fi connected and a nice big built-in robe there on the other side. Sorry if you can hear the smoke alarms beeping at the moment. I'm just waiting on those to get looked at. Um, they're making a bit of racket. A little ensuite there off the main bedroom. So you've got a nice uh, shower there. Not just one of the little square ones. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, there as well, again with the exhaust fan, all in good condition. Vanity and toilet there as well. So all in great condition. Okay, as I mentioned there also in the intro, brand new kitchen. It's literally just gone in. In the last couple of weeks by the time you'll see this video it'll only be a couple of weeks old so new splashbacks 
all brand new cabinetry and bench tops. A lovely big double pantry there. It's all shelved there. And room for the largest of fridges. Let's get a triple set in there, I think. It's a huge space. Just pan around for these this kitchen as you can see tons of storage nice big sink and looks out over the entertaining area at the back there as well dishwasher is included with the property got a nice underbench electric oven and gas cooktop and range hood there as you can see and another big pantry on this side so storage not an issue in this home at all. Very nicely done. Okay. Let's head out the back because this is a great entertaining area. I sold this home for the previous owner to these current owners as well. And I've just always loved what they've got out the back here. So Straight off the back living area, the dining area, this huge tiled patio, which looks out over that nice water feature there on the other side. Got one of those roll away covers so you can extend that area under cover. Really nicely landscaped all the way around. Come over to this side, so from the front of the house, this is the left hand side. The uh, clothesline there, heat pump, hot water system. And just stand back this way, it'll give you a real idea of the size of the entertaining on this property. Also, gives you a bit of, look, of a look at that roof, color bond roof, it's all in good nick. Uh, have a look at the drone shots as well. You'll see all that from above. But look at that for entertaining area. So not only that tiled patio straight off the back of the house, there's this beautiful big deck out off the side of the home as well. Nicely lit. There used to be a spa out here at some stage, but that's been taken away. But you've certainly got room to put something like that back in. Little wooden box there is just for your gas cylinders. They're tucked away out of the road. And back up to that gate at the front I was talking about earlier. For people to come in via the front. So just looking over the side of that deck, that's that gate from that side driveway. The old neighbour's dog there saying hello. And just shows you up this side. It's just a bit more extra outside storage space. So fantastic area out here. I mentioned those two little garden sheds up the back there. They're a, an as-is basis. If you don't want those, you can take them out yourself. but really well presented throughout and something definitely worthy of your consideration. Alrighty, let's get this wrapped up. Okay, I'm gonna finish up out the back here because as I mentioned, it is really my favorite part of the whole property. Um, it's finished up really, really well. And look, if you're loving the look of this home too, uh, I'd encourage you to get in quickly. This home will not sit on the market for too long. If you click on the links uh, in this post, um, or if you're looking on YouTube, the link will be um, at the top of the uh, property description there. Uh, it will take you to the, our website with all the photos and information and pricing on the property. There'll be a floor plan there uh, for the home as well. Every bit of information you will need. Uh, we'll have a rental appraisal coming through from my property management team um, for the investors that are out there and um, the rates figures will be in the ride up there for you as well. 
if you are finance ready to purchase, everything's in place for you to buy, uh, give me a call to inspect by appointment only on 041 1945 or contact me uh, by email or messaging through whatever platform you're looking at this video on and uh, we will organise that for you. As I said, it will not hang around for long. Uh, give me a call and we'll see what we can get together for you sooner rather than later. Of course, if you've got any questions, let me know. Thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you soon. Sold, sold, sold for the max. Shame the cloud at Remax Gold.